Hi, welcome to the short video on the fundamental concepts for understanding security in ClickView. My name is John Callan. I'm with the product marketing team at ClickTech. This video is part of a series of videos on the topic of security in ClickView. If you haven't already done so, please take a look at the first video entitled Understanding Security in ClickView and Overview and all preceding videos to better prepare you for the topics presented here. It's important to remember that security in ClickView is applied through a combination of document level and server level approaches. In this short video, I want to discuss how to use ClickView Server to apply security at the server level such that when a ClickView file is reduced, then the resultant data files can be distributed to only the appropriate people. So in many ways, this can augment or even replace the use of section access to provide individual authorization and access to different data elements that you want to restrict access to. What you're looking at on my desktop is a ClickView file with a sample sales data set. As the admin, you can see all of the data that is pertaining to this particular data set. But you'll notice that I have a field containing three unique login IDs. And it's through this field that I will reduce and distribute the new files to the correct people via my server. So let's go over to the ClickView Enterprise Management Console. As in a previous video, in the source documents, I have the sample sales demo file that you just saw. I'm going to create a new task that will first of all reduce the data. And again, I'm going to reduce it by a particular field, in this case, the region field. And in the region field, there are three unique entries, central, west, and each region. I'm going to give each new file a name that will associate with each region. OK, so we've covered this in the last video. But what's different now is that I'm going to distribute the files that have been created. So rather than do it manually, I'm going to loop across a field that's resident within my document. And that field is a login ID. And this is the authentication and authorization process. So what will happen here is the login ID will be authenticated via NTFS using one of these five identifiers. In this case, I'm going to use the SAM account name. Once the publisher executes this, it will verify that the person has authorization privileges and will create a new file such that that person will have access only to that file. The target is, again, my own ClickView server, and I'm going to send the files to the temp folder. And that should be all I need to do. Again, I'm not going to perform any trigger on this. I click Apply, and I now I've created the task. If I go back to my Status tab, I can now execute the task. What happens is the ClickView server will open the file, check the login field, check it against the user's credentials on the server, and then create a new file for each region that, I, that I've identified to reduce the file by. It will also automatically assign user authorization privileges to the newly created file based on the login ID name. Going back to the Documents tab, select User Documents, and now you'll see I have the same three files that I created before, Central, East, and West. But what's different is when I go and try and access those files. So now let me go back to my desktop and open Access Point from a browser on my desktop. I'm going to log in again as JDoe. And when I do that, what you see is now I have only one file that I can access, and that's the Sample Sales Data West file. I can only see the West region data, not East and not Central. If I log out and log in again, maybe as mfish, you'll see now that I can only see the east data and not the other two. So very simply, I can use the server publisher architecture in ClickView to perform a reduction on data as well as control access to who can see and use that data. What you've just seen is a short video looking at using a directory list to reduce and distribute documents to the right people. This video was part of a series of videos covering security in ClickView, and I encourage you to view the other videos in this series to give you a more complete picture of how security is handled in ClickView. Thank you.